Hey guys, how's it going tonight? It's Wednesday. I uh, thought we'd cook some dinner. And uh, I'm Brian, by the way. Uh, welcome to my channel, uh, Mr. Swiss Kitchen. And uh, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Hope you get something out of this video. I uh, hope you check out some of my other videos. If you're returning, thank you, as always. Um, you know, and uh, before I forget, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bells right next to it. Hit that, and I'll let you know when all my videos come out. Try to put videos out every Wednesday and Thursday. And let's see. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, I didn't used to really push that so much, but I kind of do now, but here's why. So if you are new to my channel, we're trying to grow a neighborhood. You know, a neighborhood of good neighbors. And if we hit the thumbs up, thumbs down, it does two things. A, it puts us in the algorithm to get in other people's feeds, which will grow our community. And we'll have a whole big community full of good neighbors of all ages and backgrounds and so on and so forth. And it lets me know if I'm doing things good, bad, or if you're just, uh, you know, being a jerk per se. But, yeah, you know, it gives me some feedback all the, all the same. Comments, always welcome comments. Um... I do try to respond to all of them in a timely fashion, uh, and at the moment I do respond to all of them, and usually in a timely fashion because I don't get a lot of them, but that could change any day now. You never know tomorrow this channel could blow up, we'll have a huge community, I'll be answering, responding to thousands of comments every week. I don't see that happening this week, but you never know. Um, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. So anyhow, Wednesday, dinner. Um, this is a quick, easy one. So this recipe comes from, uh, well... My wife, Chris, she uh, shared it on our uh, Facebook group, uh, Mr. Smith's Kitchen. If you're on Facebook, check us out. And uh, it it reads as a Philly cheesesteak slider, which sounds amazing. You go to the uh, recipe, uh, it's not really a Philly cheesesteak slider as much as it is just a uh, cheesesteak slider. And uh, on the initial... Uh, post it had a listing of ingredients that aren't exactly on the actual recipe so that you know what we're just going to kind of do our own thing tonight uh, which is fine creativity is awesome so we're going to use some of the basics of both of them and uh, kind of dig it as ourselves so that being said um, let me get you down here to the uh, countertop where we will uh, start to make this uh what I believe is going to be an amazing dish. Um, there aren't really any uh, measurements, so to speak. I mean, there's some, and I'll give them to you as you go, but we're just gonna kind of wing this one. I think that'll be kind of fun to just wing a dinner. Um, and this will be kind of like a, well, we got it in our pantry, you know, and a lot of this stuff we we had, you know. Um, so I only had to buy a couple things, which is kind of nice. So let me get you down here. We'll get started on this, uh, on this dinner, all right? Hold on for me one second. All right, so down here on the counter um, with a handful of ingredients that we got going on here. So the first thing I did, this actually probably requires more prep work than anything else, I think. Um, so prep work wise, what I did was um, the original recipe called for about a pound of uh, sl thin sliced steak. So I went ahead and I thinly sliced it. Um, I did that a little while ago and what I did was as I put it in the bowl, I sprinkled salt on it, okay? that What that does is as it sits here, the salt will actually break down the fibers of the meat and it makes it tender, it makes it easier to chew. Um, after, the, after I did that and I stuck it in the fridge to hang out, I cut up some vegetables. Um, the original recipe called for green peppers and onions thinly sliced. So I did green peppers and onions thinly sliced right there. But I also did up uh, some red pepper, you know, and it's about half to three quarters of each because I had big peppers, bell peppers. Um, if you've got just normal size bell peppers, one of each. Uh, and then I did up eight ounces of uh, just regular old uh, mushrooms, you know, white mushrooms, button, button mushrooms. And I just sliced them up then. I got my, and then... That was really it as far as prep work goes, and we were done with prep work. Um, turn your oven on. You want your oven on 350 degrees, okay? And I got my skillet going here. So the next thing we're going to do after we've done our prep work, you know, we let our meat sit in the fridge for about, I mean, you want about a half hour or so at least. That really, because, I mean, it's thinly sliced, you know, and I just used a, a, 
uh, top roast. Yeah, it's got the least amount of fat on it. That way I knew, you know, I was getting a lot of bang for my buck, so to speak. But use whatever you have available or you like. I mean, you could buy a porterhouse for that matter and thinly slice it up. You know, this was just economical for us and it had the least amount of fat on it to trim off. You always want to trim off those big chunks of fat on any roast you use. Um, it, they don't do well um, cooking them. So, got all our prep work done. I've got my oven uh, heating up to 350 degrees. I've got my skillet on. Yeah, and this is pretty much going to be one skillet that is all you're going to need at, other than the 9 by 13 pan that we're going to put in the oven. Um, so I got one skillet and I got a bowl. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get the skillet heating. I'm going to put my, I'm going to put about two tablespoons worth of oil in here. You can use olive oil. You can use vegetable oil. Cause remember we're winging it. Yeah. And I'm going to let that heat up. Now it shouldn't take long to heat up because my, my pan is pretty solid hot. But once that heats up, we'll go ahead and get our uh, vegetables in there. Okay. So I got a little bit of smoke coming off the top. My oil's dancing, um, or it's, it's waving, right? Like the ocean. Um, that way I know we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my vegetables. I'm going to pour them in the pan, just like such. And we're going to uh, saute them. Yeah, we're going to make the onions translucent, turn the heat down just a little bit. I've got it on about a medium, medium high. Yeah, we're going to add a little bit of salt to this, just a pinch of salt. And what that's going to do, it's going to help these vegetables sweat, you know, and bring out all that goodness. So now all we got to do is get our, our vegetables sauteed and then we can uh, move forward. All right. So we got our vegetables nice and soft, a little sauteed there. And we're just put them in a bowl and we're going to set those off to the side. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put a little more olive oil in here, a couple more teaspoons. And, or tablespoons and now you can use butter if you don't have oil you can use an oil of your choice really you just want to make sure that it uh, is a high temp oil all right so still got our skillet on medium high um, and now we're just going to take our meat and we're going to put it in here and we're going to give it a, a, a good braising we don't have to make sure it's cooked all the way through um, because we're going to put this in the oven to bake for about 20 minutes. So, but we want to give it a good searing on the outside. You don't want to really crowd the pan. Do it in stages. So after these are done, I'll put them in a, on a plate and then we'll uh, move on and I'll do up, uh, the next batch. And we'll just continue doing this until uh, we got all the meat done. One thing I did forget to mention because I forgot to put it on there, um, with the beef, you want to put on, uh, just throw some pepper on there. Yeah, it helps add to it, about a pinch worth. Yeah, a little more. To flavor, I guess it would be. All right, well, let me get these done and I'll be right back and we'll move on. All right, so we got our veggies are done. Our meat is ready to go. So those over there, the next thing I did this, I did this part of prep. You're gonna need a nine by 13 pan. If you don't have a nonstick one, or a glass one, you want to spray it down with uh, some vegetable spray. I've got some sweet rolls in here, you know, kind of like the Hawaiian sweet rolls. And what I did was I have a, a cake cutter that, so you can even out cakes if need be. And I just used it to cut these in half. If you don't have one, you can just use a serrated knife or a knife for that matter. Put it in there. We're going to set those in here, all right, just like such. We're going to take the tops off, just like such. And like I said, this has no real amounts so far, other than the pound of hamburger, one onion, and half a green pepper, half a red pepper if they're good size, or all of each, um, however much you want, eight ounces of mushroom. That's where we're at. Two, uh, two packages of uh, sweet rolls. You know, whatever brand you like um and then in this case i have a cheese dip but i'm using queso all right um which here's where we're very from a, a true philly cheese steak if this were a true philly cheese steak we would take some provolone 
slide it on here on the bottom, and then build it from here. Because now all we got left to do is build our sliders. But I'm going to use this queso dip because I thought, you know, that sounds fun. Um, yeah, look at that second recipe. It said uh, a jar of cheese sauce, and I thought, well, that's not very Philly. But I did watch a guy on TikTok that uh, had made a uh, cheesesteak sandwich and a cheesesteak burrito that looked, you know, amazing. And he used, he made his own cheese sauce, and he used a, a mustard and uh, a yellow cheese and I, a couple other spices, and it ended up almost glowing yellow. It was really kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. So all I'm going to do is get this spread on here. Okay, now we got it spread on the bottom just like that. We will uh, go ahead and get some on the top here and do the exact same thing, just spread it on so it's nice and all over it. All right, we got our cheese sauce layered on both of them. Now we're just going to take our meat, put it down on the bottom layer. I mean, really, here's where you could have a good time. I mean, you could, you could do all kinds of nifty stuff with this, really. And I, I love some of the recipes that we see on Facebook. Uh, they're very vague, you know, which I'm okay with. Unless it's like a cake or a pie or something like that. And then it can get a little challenging. Because um, baking, you, you have to, you know, be rather specific. Each, each part has a job, so to speak. And, you know, like eggs will help hold things together and give it a little bit of lift and flour gives it stability and you know can make it a little denser more cake like or you know pies if you're not careful with the crust you end up with a not a crust <laughs> things like that so i mean but with cooking man you can do whatever it takes which is awesome and while i'm sitting here thinking about it to my new subscribers welcome i you guys have been coming in droves, and I'm absolutely loving it. You know, just loving it. Yeah, it, you can't beat that. I, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right, you know, and and it shows that people, you know, like to have a community, you know, someplace they can go and watch and feel okay and, you know, not be judged or picked on or beat up and learn something cool. I, I'm here to tell you, baking and cooking are like the coolest things ever and gardening, anything food-related. It's something everybody can relate to, um, which is awesome. So, all right, got the meat on there. Looks like we might have a little extra. Yeah, the, the original recipe called for a pound. This is probably closer to two. That's all right. I am game for extra anything on a slider. And there is a million and one ways to make sliders. You know, they come in all varieties. And that little bit of juice I got left on there, I'm going to pour it on the steak, because why not? Get that on there. Good to go. Now we'll put our vegetables on there. And don't judge me, I'm going to use my hands. Um, they're clean. Yeah, right? Ooh. Um, plus it's going to go in a 350 degree oven. You know, I mean, I only picked my nose once. I promise. Get that on there. I mean, these are going to be some loaded sliders. We'll probably have to use a fork to eat them with. But, I, you know what? It's okay. Because we're creating. We're playing. This is one of the few times on this channel that you guys actually get to see, you know, what it's, I mean, this is all what cooking is all about. You hear people call themselves foodies. And, I mean, part of being a foodie is, you know, using somebody else's uh recipes and being able to cook them up like we do and then you know making it your own a little bit here or there adjusting it for your needs but then sometimes being a foodie is just going all right what do i got in the fridge that i can create something with and that's kind of what we're doing today you know i saw some ideas and said wow let's 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 try something completely left to center you know but keeping that parameters of what is a slider so Got that on there. We have got queso dip. We got or queso cheese dip. We've got steak. We have got peppers, onions, mushrooms. Crowd is going wild. We're about to put our top back on there, just like that. I know you're thinking to yourself, 
All right, is that it? Nope, that ain't all. So the next thing we're gonna put on here is, and I'm just gonna sprinkle this on light in the beginning, because I don't know how well it's gonna hold, is I'm just gonna put a little everything bagel seasoning on here, right? And it, don't ask me what's in everything bagel seasoning, it's everything. Um, and then I'm gonna take some butter. I've melted three-ish tablespoons of butter, right there, three-ish tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna put these all over the top, just like such. All right, got that all over the top, just like such. Just a little, get the last little bit of that butter on there. Yeah, oh. Now it's got a nice shine to it. it. Smells like butter. It's screaming unhealthy dinner, which is what we want. And then I'm going to take some more of that everything bagel seasoning and I'm going to not dump it all in one spot, but shake that on there just like that. Just like that. Because why not? Now I'm gonna take a little bit of parsley, a little bit of dried parsley, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on there like such, because why not? Sounds good. I mean, how often do you get to use parsley, really? And the funny thing is, one of the recipes had parsley, one of the recipes had uh, everything bagel seasoning. So, we're doing the best of both worlds, why not? So what are we doing now? All right, well, if you remember at the beginning of this video, we set our oven at 350 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strap a piece of aluminum foil over the top of this. And I am going to bake it in the oven for 20 minutes. But I'm only going to keep the foil on there for about 15 minutes. I don't want it to dry out. I don't want it to burn all that stuff. But I do want the buns to get soft with that butter, and I want that cheese to go a little nuts, and I want all those juices from the steak to incorporate. So I'm going to go 20 minutes in the oven. I'm going to go about 10 to 15 minutes covered. And then that last little bit of time, I'll rip the aluminum foil off like I've just opened a present at Christmas time. And we'll let that just finish baking on its own. All right, so when I come back, uh, we'll take a look at it and maybe try some. All right, see you here in a second. All right, so we got those out of the oven and foil, 15 minutes, no foil, five minutes, 20 minutes total. And I got the tater tots in the oven because that's what we're having with these tonight. Um, and I'm just gonna put some queso on top of the tater tots and I think it's gonna be amazing. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, it's one of those nights, right? So let me get you down here. We'll take a look at them, uh, pull one out and try one. All right, hold on. There we are. Yay. All right. Now he's been sitting out for a second, but the pan is still fairly hot. I did. I got it, went ahead and got them cut, but there we are. Not that they look a whole lot different than they did when they went in. Uh, not as shiny, but still got a nice sheen to them. And a plate. Plate. And we'll pop one or two of these bad boys out of here. Now, the nice thing is, I mean, it did make 24 of them, so you should be able to feed a few people. These would also be good, like, if you're throwing a get-together, you know, tailgate, whatever. Oh, and there, make sure we're separated, and we are. Yay. Ooh. <laughs> this is going to be messy and good. But there we are. There is our sliders. Yeah, this is only the second time I think we've ever done sliders of any kind on this channel. Uh, the first one was a, uh... oh gosh, I don't, <laughs> embarrassing. Um... Wow, I really don't remember now, but we have done sliders before. Oh, it was a uh, French onion dip slider. Whew, that hurt. And uh, those turned out very good. Uh, I do remember those. If, if, you, if you're interested, check it out because those are really good. Um, but let's try these. This is the focus today. Messy, just like sliders should be. Mm. 
That's really good. Steak is tender. Well, the meat is tender. It's not a steak, it's pot roast. But that's tender. Um, the queso, for as spicy as it is comparative, I mean, it's not like blazing hot spice wise, but it blends in really well with the peppers and the onions and the mushrooms. That's really. Quite delicious. Mm. I think when I make these again, I may put some jalapenos in it. I think uh, jalapenos would be really, really good with that. But I think for a quick throw together meal, that's pretty freaking awesome. And like I said, there's 24 of them there. If you're having a little get together like we do on Wednesdays, sometimes we'll have friends over. That seems to be the day to have friends come over. Uh, this would be a good one. Make some of these up. Uh, remember, I did the uh, like taco cinnamon rolls. That would be a good one to throw with these, um, along with Betty White's wings. Uh, her wing recipe that we did on the same video with the uh, taco rolls. Yeah, I you know that. That could be the beginning of a party, you know, hands down. So give these a try. Uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, you can add and take away anything you want. We just threw this together based on a couple recipes that me and Chris saw and thought, okay, it wasn't exactly what we were thinking, but it worked, you know, and that's the fun of cooking. I guess that's what it comes down to is that's just the fun of cooking. You can take anything and make it your own quick and easy, you know, and that's the way it should be. It suits the needs of you, your family, your friends, you know, what you're into. So give this a try. Um, like I said, let me know what you think. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you hated it. Let me know if you're never going to try it because it just sounds horrible right off the rip. Either way, I'm here to tell you, I think they're good. Um, and I think you will too. So tomorrow, um, we are going to do a lemon meringue pie that um, I think is gonna blow your socks off. So I, I did the, I actually did the video a few days ago. Um, a, a friend of ours uh, was interested in uh, buying a lemon meringue pie. And I thought, you know what? I don't think I've made a video of lemon meringue pie and they are quite delicious. Um, and we actually made two, one for here for the house, which you'll get to see. Um, and then uh, one for our friend and uh, for those that have bought pies and cakes off of me over the last month or so, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it has been a pleasure to bake for you, first of all. Um, but every penny that we've made off of that has been put back towards a deposit or down payment and uh, first pay mortgage payment on um, this house. That way we can uh, move forward on a bigger and better things. Hopefully mid-August we'll, we will be the official owners of this house. You know, I, I'm not counting my chickens before they're hatched, though. Seems like there's always a hiccup anytime I try to, you know, have something good happen for us. So, but that being said, I, fingers crossed, you know, life should go good. And we have not spent a penny of anything that has been, you know, uh, made off of the purchase of pies and cakes. Um, <clears throat> so, lemon ring pie tomorrow. Try this. Let me know. I love you. I love you very much. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, you know, and I, with all sincerity. Tell somebody else you love them and then you love them very much. They'll know, you know, especially if you make them some of these sliders. They'll be like, wow, these are really good. They took the time to make these for me. They must really, really love me. Yeah. And they won't know it really only took about 20 minutes. Yeah. So till tomorrow for uh, lemon meringue pie, I love you and I'll see you then.